So I'm going to show you um, my little LED greenhouse that I built. Uh, it was kind of expensive in the end, but I feel like I'll use it for 10, 10 seasons at least. Um, and I'm very anxious to get uh, growing, as you can imagine. Um, but I'll give you just a little look about how it looks here in Halfway Oregon. <laughs> Outside. It's still pretty cold, as you can see. Um, let's see all the way around. To our idyllic little farm <laughs> scape. Cold. So you get the idea. And it's about, um, let's see, 30 degrees out right now. <laughs> Uh, Mom makes fun of me for this hat, but I like my hat, and I'm going to keep wearing it uh, until it gets a lot warmer. <laughs> it is goofy, I admit it. Okay, so... <laughs> camera's got me going all backwards. Alright, so I'm taking you to our little shop. There's our horse, Roni. Can you see Roni? Roni! Nope, oh, that's the barn. There's Roni. Hi, Roni! Original name for Roni their own. <laughs> I didn't name him. Mom did. Cute enough. Okay, so I'm coming into the shop, which I forgot to turn the light off, as usual. Some green person I am. And I've um, built this in the corner of the shop. Um, it's got a blanket over it. Oh, and it's not really going to be easy to see, is it? Because it's the lighting is quite odd. But it's got eight LED panels, which were about 20 bucks a piece. The light's kind of just in there. Yeah, you can't really see. Um, and five shelves. Uh, and it's about 50 degrees in there. So I've started some brassicas and kale, things that I can plant out um, this uh, uh, spring for a little while. Um, the whole system probably cost me about uh, $270 with the shelf. Um, but like I said, I think I'll use it for at least 10 seasons to get going early. Um, and then throughout the season, if I want to do seedlings and stuff, uh, to sell at the farmer's market, which I'm thinking about doing. All right, well, that's my little mini greenhouse. I wish I could show you a better picture of it or the DIY, but, uh, I can't. <laughs> Take care.